unboxing review. I have in front of me the Iron Studios Winter Soldier Bucky, Bucky Barnes. I am ecstatic to open this. I've been looking forward to another Iron Studios Civil War statue for quite some time. I do get Falcon tomorrow, but for right now, let's open up Bucky. Let's see what he's like. <coughs> I do also have three additional unboxings that will occur today. Today was a huge statue day, and tomorrow I'm getting Falcon and one additional statue. You'll have to wait and see. So, this is a medium-sized mm. box, but it does weigh quite a bit. 11.2 uh, kilos. So it's quite heavy, but to open this bad boy up, after I open up these statues, I'm going to go get my favorite food in the world, some uh, delicious pizza from this special pizza restaurant here locally, and I'm going to just look at my statues, watch a movie, then go to the gym. So many epic statues today is really just awesome. Alrighty, so let's see what we got here. From what I can see, base, Bucky, gun, head. Alright, let's get this base out first. Looks like quite a big base. All right, so here is the base. Good sized weight. On the bottom, it says Winter Soldier. I got 215 of 350. So there's that. Now let's get Bucky himself. Oh, I do love the fresh smell of styrofoam and polystone. I love it when it's like in a, you know, when you first open that statue, the excitement's just so awesome. So here is Bucky. Mm. Absolutely amazing detail in this costume. Just looks like real leather. Epic. There's his arm. So let's put him in the base. He... He just goes like that. Next, let's get the head sculpt out. Here is the head sculpt. Amazing detail and likeness. I will show you all up close later. You know, he got this sort of beard going on. Really detailed eyes. I mean, it even has... Yeah, very detailed eyes. The hair is very detailed. So let's just put that in. Let's see. I'm going to turn the statue in front of me. It's hard to do it when it's like that. All right, you do have to do a little wiggle room to get that to go in. Next, we got the hand holding the extra clip, basically. And then the gun. Let's get this bad boy out. Very cool looking.
to. All right, there we go. Boom. And there he is, folks. Bucky, the Winter Soldier. Let me go put him in the Civil War lineup and we'll see how he looks. Bucky, the Winter Soldier in my Civil War setup. So as you can see, there's still plenty of space on this Stuva to go ahead and display Captain in front and Falcon to the right. Falcon has plenty of wing space because of the way I have these shelves set. So I do not worry about space. So to the top of his gun, he is approximately 26.75 inches tall. So, you know, War Machine definitely looks bigger, obviously, because he's in a machine. And uh, Panther's also in a costume, which makes him slightly bigger. So but Bucky is definitely a good one-fourth scale size. So let's look at the base. As you can see, the base is very similar to the other Civil War lineup. They have this gray rock look. And then this one has steps that Bucky is stepping on. You can see the dirt on Bucky's shoes. And then right here, you can see claw marks. What looks like is obviously from Black Panther because he was fighting him. See more dirt on the shoes. Then here's a pipe. So that's basically it for the base. You know, it's simplistic. It's pretty big, decent weight. I wouldn't say it's solid. It is, uh, I would say, probably hollow, but it's definitely a good weight. And it's pretty big. Although the other two bases are slightly taller, as you can see, and a little bit bigger. But I'm glad it's not too big because I need the space to be able to display the whole diorama. So let's look at Bucky. So he's the first one that I have that where you can actually see the entire head sculpt. You know, it's not like a mask or anything. So here's the pants. As you can see, they are very, very detailed. You know, I'm not sure. Is this? No, it's not. You can't like remove move that buckle. There's the pants. It looks very realistic, like he's just wearing pants. The boots, super detailed. I mean, look at that. That looks like real shoes. I love the, you know, like dirt on the bottom. It's very, very awesome. And then he's wearing his jacket, which looks like real leather. You know, I mean, it looks like it just came out of the movie. It's really awesome. Face sculpt, as you can see, is awesome. Not sure if you can see it in the camera, trying to focus there for the eyes, but the eyes are incredibly detailed. You know, it looks like a real pupil. It has little red veins in it. It's not just like a dot. They actually painted everything on that eye. The hair is very de detailed and sculpted very nicely. You know, it's not like a, another hair sculpt. You know, it's like they sculpted every single brand of hair. And it's all wavy-like. I love the wave look. It looks just like Bucky. It's 100% likeness. The gun looks awesome. You know, and I always view Bucky, I remember him just shooting that machi uh, machine gun, especially in Winter Soldier. And so I love the pose. You know, he has a clip to go ahead and reload it. Great, great statue. I freaking love it. Can't wait for Falcon tomorrow. And then it's just Captain and Iron Man to just, you know, complete this Civil War lineup I have going on here. I love it. It's, uh, to me, you know, it's like these are, you know, just some of the best 1-4 scale statues out there. They're just premium. Absolute premium statues. They have a hefty price tag, but it's well-deserved. Props to Iron Studios. They really did an amazing job. And I also like how they did a low ES. It's not a huge ES. You know, and it looks just like the prototype. You look at all these, just phenomenal. Let's look at the back part of Bucky. Now there's his jeans. Really just a phenomenal job. I love it. I give it a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend this. I think it may be sold out. I'm not 100% sure, but there's only 350 made. So if you were debating getting this or not, don't debate. Get it. It's absolutely phenomenal. Iron Studios is number one, in my opinion, when it comes to 1-4 scale movie statues. They are hands down the best. And I hope to see future 1-4 scale statue releases from them, hopefully from Justice League, Wonder Woman, 
you know, I'd really love to get that from them. But props to them. Amazing job on Bucky. Very, very awesome. Let's do some uh, last views so you can get a good look at the statue. Watch out for my other unboxing and reviews. Like, comment, subscribe, and watch out for Falcon Tomorrow.